Hi, it's Ms. Moore from the Metuchen Public Library, and I'm here with Take 5. This week, we will be reading The Unusual Suspects by Michael Buckley. It's one of the Sisters Grimm books. Chapter 5. Granny Relda swung her handbag at the frog girl and cracked her on the forehead. The monster groaned and fell to the ground. Sabrina had seen what sort of stuff the old woman kept in her purse everything from spy goggles to rolls of quarters, so she knew it packed quite the wallop. It would take the frog girl a while to get up, if she got up at all. Not wasting any time, the grim women spun in the opposite direction and raced down the stairs. Elvis followed close behind, clumsily navigating the steep steps and barking threateningly. If we're lucky, Grana Ralda said through winded breaths, that thing will be too afraid of Elvis to come after us. And if we aren't, Sabrina asked as she helped her grandmother down the last of the steps. Unfortunately, the old woman didn't get a chance to respond. The frog girl bounced down on the steps and onto a nearby wall, sticking like a suction cup. Elvis stood his ground, baring his teeth at the monster, daring her to come closer. Your puppy isn't very nice, the frog girl croaked, but he'll digest in my belly as quickly as the three of you. Daphne stepped forward and flashed her shiny new deputy's badge. You're under arrest for, for, for being gross, she stammered, but the frog girl was not impressed. She lunged for the little girl. Sabrina grabbed her sister's hand and dragged her down the hallway toward the exit. The monster followed by leaping back and forth from wall to wall, gaining ground with each jump. By the time the Grimms reached the exit, the frog girl was right behind them. She shot her thick tongue out and wrapped it around Daphne's arm, dragging the little girl back into the clutches. Elvis leaped ferociously at the creature, but it jumped to the ceiling and hung upside down out of his reach. Let her go, Sabrina shouted as she desperately reached for her sister. The frog girl let out a sickening giggle and continued to dangle Daphne right above Sabrina's grasp. The little girl struggled and squirmed and finally reached into her beehive hairdo. She yanked a protractor from her sticky locks and stabbed the frog's tongue with it. The monster shrieked and Daphne fell, knocking Sabrina to the ground. I hope you like that part of chapter five from The Sisters Grimm, The Unusual Suspects by Michael Buckley. Feel free to check this book out and other books from the Metuchen Public Library. See you next week.